you're this perp back with another video and i just got done checking out episode seven of america horror story season two and man i, I gotta say this season has definitely kind of pulled a 180 we're definitely getting more quality stories they're not relying on like too heavily on um on um the seasons that we've seen already of america horror story so just based off the title that alone i knew we were gonna get a weird one this is definitely a twisted love story you know what i'm saying the episode title is called necro and you already know what that is short for and you could probably see where this story is going before it even starts <laughs> so starting with the beginning it starts off at 98 and obviously it seems like it looks like like a home invasion you just see a chick just laid out she's kind of like unconscious you get dead but then you see a child pretty much breastfeeding it was weird i feel like this is the first time we've seen like nudity i could be wrong in american horror stories which kind of shocked me i could be wrong like i said but then it jumps into present day and we get introduced to our main character sam she pretty much um works at this morgue and she's really good at her job and even her boss was like hey you did a hell of a job i'm gonna give you a raise and it's just like i i still don't understand people that can work at morgues like you have to have a, a stomach made of steel because i couldn't do that just just the taking out the fluids of people and just it was just uh but i understand that there's people that really um like their job they look at it as almost like an art you could definitely see that sam likes it a little bit too much and she has a fiance at the time named jesse and they're not kind of really seeing eye to eye they love each other right and they're about to get married but you know it's you can definitely tell that jesse doesn't really like sam's way of living and coming home smelling like dead people you know what i'm saying and once you know and sam has these groups of friends but once she starts to kind of open up to her friends about her job and how she sees death she almost like kind of obsesses with it she has she fancies it i should say but then one night as she's working some guy comes barging in without a name or anything which is kind of weird they didn't say anything i guess you could call him john doe um ironically and these two start to kind of connect they have a lot of similarities they have a lot of um trauma in their life they both kind of witnessed death and whatnot which turns into something really interesting man because you know we get to a point where sam and this random john doe we're almost getting to the point where they're they're about to kiss but then jesse calls and says like look we gotta go my parents are waiting on us and this is where everything kind of changes for Sam's character is when she gets home, what, what what was meant to be like a surprise end up just kind of really triggering her trauma. And I, I really like the writing in this. It's very like shit, like it's very poetic. It's very, it's very dark. It's very dark at the same time. Um, it's very weird. It's very weird. It's not natural. Not, I'm gonna say natural, but like just those two, I'm talking about Sam and John Doe kind of expressing their feelings and just their past trauma. And what ends up happening is she gets another body that she has to work on and it ends up being that John Doe and she's thinking that he's dead. So she's all messed up in the head and she just doesn't know how to deal with this stuff which leads her to pretty much have sex with this corpse which she thinks is dead hence the name necro um and i was like wow this this got weird really quick 
And then all of a sudden the body starts moving. And here here comes to find out that the dude John's not really dead. He was pretty much playing dead, which is a really weird kind of trick to play on somebody. And Sam does not like that one bit. And they kind of go their separate ways for a couple months. Then the wedding comes around and imagine this happening to you, right? You're sitting there on your wedding day and then all of a sudden y'all are going through all the different photos and stuff and then this video pops up of her um at her job at the morgue having sex with what people think are a dead body and then just has everybody kind of looking at you sideways jesse wants nothing to do with sam she can't even get a job her life is just in shambles until she finally gets uh a hold of a gun and you're thinking to yourself what is she gonna do with that she pretty much tracks this john doe guy down and is ready to kill him but then pretty much tells her like look i just did this to kind of set you free you know we're we are both weird and i was like yeah you all are both weirdos there's no denying that which ends up um leading her to shoot him in like the stomach and they just jump into this grave and just get buried. It was the weirdest ending, bro. Honestly, that ending was really weird. I don't know how I feel about it, <laughs> but it's American Horror Stories. Or it's set in the American Horror Story like universe. So we've seen our fair share of weird things that happen in this year universe. But this definitely takes the cake for me. <laughs> I still I think this was a still well written episode overall it was just a little weird the whole necro stuff i just ugh, makes my stomach turn <laughs> but let me know how you guys feel about this episode i thought this was a solid episode you know episodes five six and seven have been some of the the highlights i don't know if next week's gonna be the finale but definitely check out my next episode review when that's out next week let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments below till next time i'm out peace